my god. Oh my god, we're back here again, aren't we? Mm-hmm. I feel like I started a lot of streams off like, oh my god. Oh, we're being like, oh god. Oh, man. <laughs> More. We've been in the funhouse for a month. <laughs> <laughs> we have, yeah. Um, oh, um... Is it the post? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I I was lazy with the with the title for this one. I was like, who killed Mechamaru? Two. Two. <laughs> 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 That's the ultimate lazy title. I love it. <laughs> I did I did add everyone this time because it took me a second last time. Ugh. Oh. Yeah, man. cherry ones are the worst, but there's always more cherries. Oh god. Um, it's cherry, what, right? what, what are you so eating? Scrubs. Sour Patch Kids. Oh. Right. They're normal people size now. Oh. Remember last time I had them and they were, um, I got a big bag because it has the Ziploc on it. Yeah. Um, and, uh, oh, there's dirt on my computer. I don't know why. Um, and, uh, but I didn't realize that the big bag had, like, big kids. Like, they were twice the size of a nor normal Sour Patch child. And, um, <laughs> the I got, Sour like, Patch child. Yeah, I got like weirdly used to it, so now I'm eating these regular size ones, and I'm like, it's weird. It doesn't like take up the entire palate of my mouth. <laughs> it's so strange. I don't know why I love the concept of the Sour Patch Foundling. <laughs> they were killing Sour Patch younglings. <laughs> <laughs> all of them, even the younglings. <laughs> and even the young. I killed them. I killed them all. Like slaughter them like animals, but not just the men. <laughs> Not just the Sour Patch <laughs> men, but the Sour Patch women and the Sour Patch children. And the children. Sour Patch children! <laughs> funny. Although it seemed because Padme immediately oh. is just like, oh man, I, um, oh, I, man. Need, I, I need to. Oh man, I love a bad boy. I need to. I need to ride. <laughs> I need to ride his Jedi dick. <laughs> well, now he's a Sith if he's killing younglings. Mm, a Sith dick. <laughs> I, li I don't actually know how that works. Like, so <laughs> sorry to everyone who likes Star Wars. <laughs> I, this is my last straight say goodbye, everybody, to my terrible headphones where I can only hear out of one ear and it's like cutting into the back of my other ear. I actually have a sore from these. Wow. I'm <laughs> using these. Um, as I just got new ones, but I only woke up 10 minutes ago and found them outside my door, so I, I just opened them. They're really cute. They're like pink and stuff. Um, and they, they have both the pads on, on the headphones. I like that. That's pretty cool. Um, and I got some blue light reading glasses so that Ooh. it doesn't hurt as much when I look at the t computer screen, I, I guess. I need to invest we'll see in, a, in a pair of those. Yeah, it's. I just, I got a pack of like five for 13 bucks on Amazon. I don't know. I mean, aside from the moral quandary of ordering shit off of Amazon, um, it came in like two days and they're fine. <laughs> <laughs> so that's fair. All right, I think we've given yeah. everyone enough time to pop on, and they'll they'll be slowly coming through as as the night goes on. Do that. All right. All right. Let me put put the chat pop out yeah. button. Okay. Oh well, oh well. Motherfucker. <laughs> is that is that your way to like test the test the room as it were? <laughs> sure. <laughs> How well, well, well. How well, well, what the fuck? Mmm. Okay. Since Monomi talks for me, I I can eat Sour Patch Kid. That's right. <laughs> I'm trying to force myself to be more energetic, or else my mental state won't be able to keep up. God damn, ain't that? Oh, uh, we've all been there. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> we were both. Oh, well, that was really sad. Uh, my heart's thumping like crazy. <laughs> I might as well have a laid back, so what attitude and go ahead with high energy. Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do that. that. Your batteries don't run out for various reasons. Oh. And just like I say each time, don't forget to say frequently. Thanks, Mona Me. <laughs> yes, Goth Mom. Hello, Amanda. Um, Sour Patch Kids. Expected the Funhouse itself to be the ultimate weapon. Oh well, let's just press on ahead. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Is it really all right to accept a situation so easily? I mean, that's not what's important. The thing that's really important is... The killer who used the building structure. Like, who's Mekumaru's murderer? But is it really okay to believe the building is the weapon? Nagito said it, you know. There's no way I'd lie at such an important moment. 
I don't want to die either. Nagato, you would die, you would lie anytime. That's like your mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. I remember the first trial, buddy. I don't believe anything you say. He's right. There was a time when I thought I could become a stepping stone for your hopes, Hey, Schweikman. Sincerely retract that remark. The <laughs> Shrekman says, wait, so it's the same tower? <laughs> yeah. Hold on, go back. Explain it all again. <laughs> oh, God, don't worry. They, I'm sure they will. I'm sure they'll explain the fucking thing again. I'm hoping the fact that they did the first half of the trial with it, like, the second half will be reserved for everything else. So let me get this straight. <laughs> <laughs> what makes the octagon? Let me see if I have this. <laughs> Pod. You say such falsehoods. Oh my How God. many sides does an octagon have? Netgear, get out of here! Oh, stop it, Netgear. There is no <laughs> such thing as murder hey, for the sake of hope. Murder is simply murder. Funny from the guy I assume is the murderer. Yeah, I don't want him to be. For one's own desires, even Maybe it's like a Kane, like, out of nowhere. <laughs> He wasn't like giving her good enough massages it's or whatever. Fine. Let's just leave him alone and find out who killed Coach Nekomaru as fast as we can. Her hair gets pointy when she's angry. It's not like I'm getting hungry or anything, you know. I like the idea that like she 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 killed Nekomaru so that she could like she's like, oh, you must be a vending machine. Oh my god, <laughs> yeah, she's hungry. Yeah, I could imagine she would do something for for food crazy like that. Nagito, as usual, I can I can't tell what he's thinking. I have no idea if he's serious or not. Anyway, if the killer used the building structure, why don't we think about how they used it? How they killed Nekomar. It might be better if we clarify the cause of death first, don't you think? Nekomar's cause of death, hmm? The pillar. He was horribly damaged as he was beaten senseless with a blunt object. But if he was beaten with a blunt object, it wouldn't be the, a kill that utilized the building structure. So what was... I don't think it was the pillar. Yeah, I think it was falling. You think falling? I think they, like, dropped the elevator on him or something. And he, he fell. Because remember, they, we talked about the pillar so much. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Um, and it was under him, you know, like the rubble or whatever. I think he might have died from falling. Died from falling? If the fun house is Sweating a little bit? <laughs> um, I don't want it to be him. Are vertically connected. Then the killer made use of its height and caused Nekomaru to die from fall. Are you saying they pushed him off? Where'd they push him oh off my God, from? So. That I don't know yet. Wait, you said that and you didn't already have the idea of the yeah. elevator? I think he was oh just like God. shooting into the ether. <laughs> I know. That's just what the voices in my head are telling me. That's I just I oh, look, I'm shooting at some ideas out there. What if he died <laughs> from a terrible game of hopscotch? <laughs> Gosh, it could be anything. Even be able to push someone off in the first place. It might be possible in the tower. You could push him off the fourth floor when the elevator is on the first floor. Did you forget how the elevator functions? When it's on the first floor, the door on the fourth floor won't open. Saying he died from falling is truly incorrect. I didn't do it. Burn in hell. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't the murderer. It wasn't me. <laughs> Your idea is like dumb. Crazy right now. It's because you haven't eaten. If Nekomaru died from falling, where did the killer shove Nekomaru from? If I'm gonna reach the truth behind this incident, I need to solve that mystery next. I shall do. Make my argument. <laughs> Good night, button. Akane's account, Fihiko's account. Clock room, broken doorknob, strange feeling of the tower. <laughs> yeah! Oh, fuck. Right. What was Akane's account? When the elevator is on I the don't station. remember. Hang on a second. Akane's account was. I heard a rumbling noise around 5 30. Okay. Mm -hmm. Contact elevator. <laughs> Let's just hear it first, actually. Okay. You can't go through the door on the fourth floor. Mm. That's only if there's something alive. From up there. Mm. Then, how about this? After locking Mikamaru inside the elevator, mm -hmm. they moved the elevator from the fourth floor to the first floor and made use of the drop. 
Hold on. Did you forget the elevator has a sensor? As long as there's a moving object inside, the other door won't open. Do we have something to counter that? Like, do we have anything that says anything about the tower elevator that says you can't... Oh, it's a strange feeling in the tower, I think. Okay. Because it was the sensors that she was had said was a strange feeling, right? Is we need to prove that he could be in the elevator while it was moving. Alright, so, so where are we throwing this one at? Uh, when Soda says, I think we should check what strange feeling in tower is first. Oh, but Soda says something like, if there's something moving inside, it won't move, and you have to hit him on that one, I think. Regardless of whether you enter the tower from Grape Hall or Strawberry Hall, the placement of Nekumara's body, uh, the tipped over pillar, and oil stains look exactly the same. That's Yeah, that's not it. Okay, that's not it. Damn, do we have anything that says that, though? Um, the contact elevator used to move one. between both houses was broken and no longer worked. It was apparently broken at the Grape House site, so the last person to use it would have arrived in Grape House. Mm. Alright, we got a line read not... real quick. By You're here. right, sorry. Yeah, I just want to take a second away from trying to <laughs> decipher. Yeah, uh, we need brain break. Can we vote Gundam? He said he uh, I should burn in hell and hurt my feelings. Also, I'm like 90% sure he's the actual killer. <laughs> okay, Gundam was really mean, and that's something a killer would that, say. Yeah, 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 only a bad guy would do that. Um, we he go no, no, that's the that's the. I'm sure we have something somewhere that says, but I don't know if it's something we have in our arsenal. So maybe we're not supposed to be hitting that yet. The good, no, not the good night button. Well, wait. A button on the back, when this button is pressed, all of Nekomar's functions cease, and he's forced to enter a sleep mode. Maybe that's what it is. Like, it's like, oh, well, no, we can't, nothing can move in the elevator because... Yeah, he wasn't yeah, moving. exactly. Maybe, okay. We'll, we'll try I didn't it. We'll remember try if it. it was a moving thing, or if it could sense, like, you're living. Uh, where is it? I think I just skipped it. Yeah. Hold on. Did you forget the elevator has a sensor? As long as there's a moving object. Good night, Potter. A moving object. <laughs> 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 I love what they do. <laughs> the moving <laughs> If Nekomaru wasn't moving inside, the elevator sensor wouldn't have detected anything. Could it be his sleep mode? Ooh. If Nekomaru's good night button is pressed, all of his functions shut down, and he enters sleep mode. If he's in sleep mode, the elevator sensor wouldn't have noticed it, right? I see. So that's how... I wonder how they hit the button. However, even if they moved the elevator in that manner, Nekomaru would have just moved along with it. That is a good point. Mm. There would have been no drop for him to fall and die from. Except yes. for, like, the hook on the fucking, uh, wire. That's what I was oh my god, to I totally forgot that even existed. Kazuichi interrupted me. <laughs> 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 now you're calling me a pest? <laughs> She's been really on his ass this time. He was actually even not doing anything. Yeah. A way to create a drop inside the elevator while Nakamura was still in it. Shiaki seems to have an idea, but what way could that be? What'd they tie him to? Um, the, I, I'd assume the pillar, right? The pillar? But doesn't the pillar move with the elevator? Oh, yeah, you're right. The, the broken doorknob? <laughs> Fuck, bitch. Okay. You can cause the drop within the elevator. So you're telling us all to think about the arrangement, right? Okay. What arrangement is? Okay. The hammer is suspicious. Nope. Uh, Isn't it no, about time something. we went over the pillar again? No. Nope. Uh, not yet. Nope. Nope. The doorknob on the floor seems suspicious. The doorknob, it's that one! How about we all shut up and listen to what Chiaki has to say? Real quick, I just want to see... Wire, chain... Don't be so cold. Is it the... What if I start to enjoy it? What? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> moving on, Soda. Um... I don't know, what what did they say specifically? Like, the wire and the I... thing about them? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's just, before we throw this into the ether, <laughs> Nekomar's body and left leg were tied with a metal wire. The tip of the wire also was tied with a loop. 
Okay. So let's try it, and if it doesn't work, we can. Oh, so nuts. All, we can try. Uh, that's okay. It's at the end if you want to go. It was yeah. the last. Um, it was the fourth Killer. blue statement. And so we had to make up for lost time and not putting. So there it is. Awesome. Hell yeah. Uh, I agree with you. I <laughs> super. God. That's a good He's idea. Like, <laughs> He's way too aggressive. About, I agree with you. He goes like, Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Didn't the door not? Oh wait. I, yeah. Ooh. And that would have been the rumbling problem. Oh, the really sour one. Was tied around Nekamaru? The tip of that wire was tied into a loop. If the elevator moved while that loop part hung from the doorknob. If they did something like that, he would have been suspended in midair. That's right. He was no, that's suspended devious. in midair. Huh? The killer tied up Nekamaru with the wire while he was in sleep mode. Tied the tip of the wire into a knot and hung it on the doorknob to the fourth floor. With that, they moved the elevator from the fourth floor to the first floor of Great Tower. And suspended the wire in midair. You look so sleepy and That's peaceful. Right. He was so well hung. <laughs> kind of like. You better not finish that sentence. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta keep it safe for work, Jim. Uh, keep the safe for work in the Danganronpa. <laughs> yeah. You, oh, you got one. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, from Insane Oddball, it's Akane. Uh, yeah, I heard the rumbling. One of the best openings for Attack on Titan. <laughs> it is a pretty good opening. Is that the one that goes... <laughs> no, no, dude, it's it's pretty oh. metal, actually. I, I, fucking... I have no idea what goes on in Attack on Titan anymore. I'll, I'll send that one to you, because I, I do, okay. like... I'll, maybe I won't show the opening. I'll send you the music video. It's it's pretty mm. good. Sim mm -hmm. is a really good uh, band right now. Mm. Is it the same band that did the first one? No, 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 no. Mm. So what if they created a drop? There's no way you can make him fall and die with just that. What? If yeah, why? If he was suspended in midair like that, then how do you get him to fall? Because if he's suspended in midair, he won't die if he doesn't actually fall. So it is it possible that, like, his weight <laughs> was, like, you know? I know, like, the doorknob broke. Obviously, it, it broke. The I guess broken that's you put the broken doorknob. Yeah, you fucking dunce. If they suspended Nekomaru from a wire, how would they make him fall? There's no one in the tower to push him. There's no way they could do that. Oh, right. I, I have a limited amount of cuts. I forgot about that. Oh. I can't just, like... Kazuichi gets a nose scrunch when he gets angry. There's no one in the tower to push him off. There's no way they could do that. Oh, no, go. not do that. It doesn't mean someone had to push him off. Possible that he fell on his own. Because he is a big boy. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, what were we supposed to say? Uh we knocked that one. Nekamaro should have still been in sleep. Oh, yep. if he was sleeping, there's no way he could do that to himself. Now's the time if you want, but in that case, you still won't be able to explain the drop. Oh, oh you ran out of cuts. Nuts. Damn, son. Damn it. Nutsu. <laughs> he thinks he's one. He's giving you the thumbs up. Like I destroyed your argument. There we go. All right. So it might be the second one. Maybe. Go on his own. What do we have again? Nope. Damn it. Oops. Crap. Uh, what? Nekomaru Radio clock. Wait, no, 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 it's the clock time. Damn it. Now's the time for Box alarm timer? You still won't be able to explain the drop. Moving the elevator with Nekomaru inside. The clock has an alarm timer. I forgot about that. End of story. All right, back to the original topic. Damn it. All right. Why? Even if they suspended Nekomaru from a walk, how what did the timer do? No the well, tower. the timer would have gone off, no right? Yeah. Which then would have woken him up, which then would have, you know... It doesn't mean oh. To push him off. I think so that's he would have struggled? Oh no, I had hoped that he... Was asleep, right? Was asleep! Nekomaru they gave him asleep. one last horrifying... Yeah. Wake up. Yeah, oh, that I... is so 
fucked. <laughs> oh no. Nekomaru woke up while he was suspended upside down in midair. Oh no. Like, how would he even wake up? He has an alarm inside his body. Wow, that like never occurred to me that that, that they would have woken him up. I thought he just like was hanging there for a couple hours and eventually it broke the wire. If you woke up from an alarm and realized you were hanging upside down and had no clue why. If something like that happened to you, you would start panicking a lot, right? Instinctively, your body would start moving. Nekamaru probably did exactly that. Wow. And then, in order to make it fall from the force he was generating, the wire was hung on the tip of the doorknob so it would easily slip off. In actuality, the scrape marks caused by the wire were near the tip of the doorknob, right? I mean, if not really. Maru didn't fall because the wire came off, right? He fell because the entire doorknob came off. When Nekomaru awoke, he must have struggled much more than expected, which caused the doorknob to break off. Was that unexpected for the killer too? Well, that's probably it. If they knew it'd leave behind mm -hmm. evidence like that, they would have at least tried to do something to cover it up. There's cool. always like a bunch of convoluted planning and stuff for these murders and st like they they always think about it and then we have these trials forever. There's never like anybody who murders someone and it's just like okay, there's a knife, it's in their back. The killer must have been wearing gloves because there's no fingerprints. Not that <laughs> we ever check for that. Uh, nobody was around, nobody saw it. Everyone, you know, nobody knows where each other were because it was free time and you know we were all in random spots. So you know, I have zero idea who could have done it. <laughs> like, the <killer. laughs> there's never any like. No evidence. There's always so much evidence for a weird, like, super well thought out plan. That's like, how did a teenager come up with this? With a fierce yeah, Mira says. Oh, go oh ahead. sorry. Mira says next trial, someone used a gun and left. Like, yeah, just like, okay, one and done. With a fierce just roar, just nobody saw. <laughs> with a fierce roar, Nekomaru put all his power into grabbing the doorknob with both of his hands. But clatter, 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 clatter. clatter. <sighs> Not yet. Here it comes. The incredible strength of one million horsepower. Power. <sighs> wait, isn't it creaking? Or, wait, isn't it creaking? If you break it off the doorknob, we'll be stuck in here. Mm. If that's really what it was, then the clue that Nekomaru left for us to find... I see. So that's how Nekomaru fell to his death. You finally understand now? Yeah, it appears it's just as Miss Sonia said. I'm just a pest. Oh. No, I'm not just a pest. I'm a total fucking pig. Isn't that right, Miss Sonia? Oh my god. I'm a fucking pig, <laughs> you can say so. No, I believe you gave your all. Hey, <laughs> why aren't you teasing me anymore? Jesus. He's good. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Are you just now realizing that for you? Nekomaru ended up falling while he was still hanging upside down. That doesn't mean he just crashed straight into the floor. Of course, you know that too, right? Doesn't mean Nekomaru crashed straight. Yeah, because of the pillar. He collided with the pillar. Cola came out of his eyes. <laughs> Cola came out of his eyes. <laughs> God, I hate how his ahoge just twitches. <laughs> it's so weird. Finally, the pillar. <laughs> You've been waiting to talk about that. And why oil was spilled all over the place. See, I told you the pillar was the weapon. My gut was totally right. Well, the pillar was a bonus. It's not even clear if the killer intended that, or if it was just a coincidence. At this point, it is quite difficult to find a clue that will lead to the killer. Hmm. <laughs> then what about the <laughs> Good one, Mir. <laughs> oh, Mir says, do you think it twitches in bed? <laughs> I'm positive the alarm was set for 7.30 a.m. And if we map it out from there... Hold on, baby gangsta! <laughs> Stop calling me baby gangsta! What'd you just say? <laughs> Did you say the alarm was set for 7.30 a.m.? <laughs> You didn't check it yourself. Nekomaru's alarm was set for 7.30 a.m. 
Nah, that's impossible. Because even though I slept in a little, I still got to the tower at 7 in the morning. N now that you mention it, so did I. There was no way I could be late for Monokuma Tai Chi, so I left for Great Tower before 7 a.m. <laughs> And Hold on, boss baby, so I didn't say not boss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> it appears yet another contradiction has been burned. How were you able to discover Nekomaru died at 7.30 a.m. when you went to the tower at 7? That's what I want to know! Another mystery I don't understand. Seriously, it's just one after another. This fucking fun house isn't that much fun, huh, guys? <laughs> But I can't choke up at a time like this. There's a little bit more, and I'll be able to reach the truth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there should definitely be a clue breaking through this contradiction. Um, what okay. do our what does our evidence say about the clocks again? Uh, we'll, we'll find a second wall clock. You dead. Alarm clock. It's probably the wall clock. Whatever, whatever this is. Yeah, let's. let's and go. I don't remember what Fuyuhiko's account is. We headed for Great Tower. Let's just check real quick. Wall clock. At 5.30, the alarm at the wall clock in, lounge, uh, in the lounge at Strawberry House, the second floor, was going off. Fuyuhiko was in the lounge by coincidence and managed to stop the alarm. But Kazuichi and Gundam rushed into the lounge after being alerted by a sound. However, Nagito was apparently oh, the only one who didn't hear it. Okay. Hmm. So they had an alarm go off at 5.30. 5.30. Fuyuhiko says... Uh, okay, that's... Apparently Fuyuhiko at saw Nekomaru walking towards the first floor of Strawberry House at 5 a.m. Okay. Uh, wait, we don't need that one anymore. Radio clock. Um, the clock in Nekomaru's chest receives radio waves in a fixed intervals and automatically adjusts itself to its time the t if the time is off. Basically, it's an amazingly precise clock that cannot be tampered with, not even to set the time. So the radio clock, whatever Nekomaru's clock is, is... Perfect. We don't like that. Yeah. It means it was 7:30. Like he died at 7:30. Right. So something was wrong with our clock. Right. Which is no. That's this... strawberries yes. clock. Well, I don't think we have the one for. I don't think that's. An, I don't think that's an option. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. yeah. So, let's just so, hear what they have yeah. to say and then go from there. Right. I assume that they'll talk about. They'll be like, Oh, Nakamura's clock must be wrong. But the alarm inside Nekomaru's chest was set for 7.30 a.m. Nekomaru died because of that alarm, right? His time of death and the time the body was discovered. One of those must be an illusion. The killer probably did some tampering. Okay. They probably messed with the clock. Nope. Nekomaru's there we go. Night. There it is. It's the radio, radio clock. clock. Yep. Very last All right. one. Ah, her shirt's coming off. Uh, just what I wanted. <laughs> no. Before 7 a.m. This time of death, one of those must be an old killer probably did some tampering. They probably messed with the pocket side. No. I would love it if, like, anytime I slowed down time, like, Hajime's nose started to bleed. Oh, no. Like, he was using too much power, like, Stranger Things style. I've been rewatching that. It's so good. Oh, that yeah? first season, man. It's, like, chills. Oh, yeah, that first season's great. So good. I mean, I've enjoyed every season, but that first season, like, that part when Joyce first starts talking with the lights, it's like, fuck, dude. Mm. Anyways. So you're saying there's no way the killer could have tampered with a clock? Maybe the clock Miss Sonia saw was the one that got tampered with. The clock inside Grape House? No, I checked all the clocks inside the fun house. Oh, that's what I asked you to do. So you really listened to me and checked all the clocks. And because of that, I can confidently declare that all the clocks had the same time displayed. Then they if were no all tampered with. <laughs> that the time was tampered with, then we must doubt that human's testimony. Mm. Please believe me, we are not lying. Then maybe it's a misunderstanding. Aww. <laughs> I never misunderstand. I'll crush you into dog food. Mm. Mm, it's time related contradiction. I don't think I should doubt the testimonies. I should doubt the clock. <laughs> There's no mistake that something was done, but what was it? 
Perhaps we've overlooked something? Maybe we're on misunderstanding something? Think. If I f focus and think, I should find the answer to that mystery. Does that mean we're about to do another... Logic um, dive. Yes! All right. Think, think, think! Brain Blast! Brain. Who keeps discording me? Stop! Who is it? Stormbot? Stormbot? Get the fuck out of here, you bot! Who are you? Oh, right, I can jump, right. Oh, no. <laughs> Stormbot, get the fuck out of my life, Stormbot! What did it even message points? you? It's just like, come play this game. Oh my god. What Let's did Hajime game. and the others misunderstand? Time in the building. Oh, okay, that's what it is. I have to get out of whatever this is. It's like a ser server or something? Leave this weird server. Get out of here, Storm. Okay. Jiminy Christmas was pissing me the hell off. Ooh, man, they got you on, like, one pixel. Here we go. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, what? I thought I had, I had it. Oh. For sure you had that. That was some bullshit. Where am I wearing? Oh man, I love snowboarding into the cosmos. Ooh, line read. For mirror archives. Fuhiko says, and Hajime is moving like a snowboarder again. <laughs> Seriously, should we check up on him? No, no, let him finish. It's for the sake of the trial. <laughs> Which clock was tampered with? I... Uh, the building's clocks. It couldn't have been the radio clock. Right. So. Okay. Um. I like the idea that Hajime does these, like, he's, like, standing there with his arms out, like, yeah, yeah, I gotta keep my balance. And everyone's like, what the fuck? <laughs> his eyes are all closed. He's making, like, sound effects. Of, Shoo, woo. Oh, God, I missed that jump, he says. I missed that jump, he says. <laughs> Man, this one's precarious. I think it's because it's the second one. Okay. Woo. Which house had the wrong okay. both houses? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, is it so weird to think that the killer messed with both clocks? Because, um, they had to have been in both buildings in order to hit the button. It's all coming together. All right. You said you checked all the clocks inside the building. Isn't that right, Fuyuhiko? Yeah, none of the clocks had the wrong time. But what if all those clocks have been messed with? What? All the clocks. So what a crazy the idea. The building, there's no way you'd have noticed it. I see. So the killer messed with the time inside the hole. I wonder why though. Changing all the clocks. So that's what it was. There's no way I would have noticed that. This is truly fantastic. Now it's not yeah. Time, please. More importantly, how much was the time off? <laughs> Nagito. Maybe the papers were wrong. Maybe Hajime does have a town. A town of looking <laughs> insane during a trial. Stop playing mental mini games. <laughs> She's right. That's the main problem. I need to clarify how by how I need to clarify by how much the time was off after the killer messed with the clocks. That's definitely the next mystery. I'm going to reach the truth in one go. Is it the next mystery? I don't know. I, I personally don't understand how this pertains to, like, who did it. I think it's the <laughs> idea that they were trying to set up something. Like, they were like, oh, like, look, it couldn't possibly have been us. You know, it's the alibi. Yeah. I mean, he made the alibi kind of with the alarm or something. I don't know. It's clearly 7.30 a.m. Okay. The problem is, what time would 7.30 be? In our time. Are there any clues when did Akane say she heard the rumbling? If only I heard the sound when you fell. Yeah, 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 we did. We all did. A great clue. Or the scream. No, that's the first one. He's not the type to let out a scream. If only Nekomaru's alarm was loud enough, we would have heard it too. Oh, wait. There's no point in saying that. You did hear it. There is a point in saying that. It's it's um 
It was the 5.30, because that's the only thing that connects to the time. Free Hiko's account. Wait, Free Hiko's account is, um... Is when he says, uh... Oh, shit. Yeah, that's when he saw Nekamaru walk. Oh, I, th I thought it was the... We've got to say the, uh... It's the, the, the was all up, strawberry house wall clock. Wall we clock. Have that? No. Uh -oh. mm. the time of death. Then maybe we just have to agree it's with Akane's for now. How do we agree with that? The problem is just shoot Akane's account at, um... Because Akane's account was her talking about hearing the rumbling or something, right? If only I heard the sound when you fell, it would have been a great... On which one? Or his scream. Uh, sound when he fell, I thought. Oh, wait, sound when he fell? Yeah. Okay, well, I yeah. Think? Yeah, we'll try that. I, I don't know. I don't remember what her... I think her account was... When she heard it. Because everybody... Like, everybody except... No, all the girls. Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay. I agree! Yeah! It's like, yay! <laughs> you made a good point! <laughs> That's right. We should have heard the sound You're so smart, Sonia! Wasn't it that rumbling noise? Rumbling? I thought it was just an earthquake, so I went back to sleep. Was that the sound from when Nekomaru fell? Well, a huge body fell from the fourth floor to the first, and the pillar fell with it. It's obvious we'd hear the impact sound. We heard that noise, too! It was when we were gathered at the Strawberry House Loud. Mm -hmm. What is it, Sonia? Oh, well... That sound everyone heard? I did not hear it at all. Huh? You probably didn't hear it because you were sleeping. I could not sleep at all. I was awake the whole night with hunger pains. Hmm. There's nothing to worry mm. about. What's important is that rumbling noise anyway. If we use that rumbling sound as a reference, we might be able to figure out how much our time was off. I heard that sound probably around 5.30 in the morning. So it's a two hour difference. Huh? You can tell? I instantly woke up and left my room. And that's when I saw the clock in the lounge. That's a lot of work, Akane. When would they have messed with the clock, though? If the rumbling sound we heard was at 5.30, it's like the answer to how much our, it's two hours. Okay. But okay, I think there was periods where we blacked out alarm and, uh, mm -hmm. from hunger, and I think if that might have been it. Impact at right. We did hear it, though. No, I don't I'm know saying, why she didn't hear it. Yeah. We were starving pretty badly. There's no way we would have noticed. Plus, the funhouse has no windows. And there weren't any Monokuma announcements either. However, for what reason did the killer alter our perception of time? Because, yeah, that's what I want to know. Because of the alibi. Yes. But why bother changing the clocks, though? It just gave us this useless conversation. No, but Ganguro, if you're trying to create an alibi for yourself, and these, like, in an, in an ideal world where we didn't come up with the solution, right? This time thing, well, well, I couldn't have been there. Because remember, me and and, and everyone else, we, we were looking at that clock and dealing with the clock problem, remember that? <laughs> and it's like, yes. oh, right. Right, we were dealing with the clock problem. And so it's like, it creates a, it creates an alibi. Oh, and also, apparently, um, uh, Nagito says it was also to lure out, uh, lure out only Nekomaru, because only Nekomaru would have had the right time. If you with yeah. The and used a specific oh, so he came out to do the Monokuma Tai Chi, alone, right? but none of us knew about it because we didn't wake up. Because our alarm clock Because they changed the clock. Right. Two hours back. Forward. Or, no, yeah, back, back. It had to be, yeah, okay. I was like, what? <laughs> Besides messing with the time, the killer also used a specific thing. If they were trying to only lure out Nekomaru, then the specific thing was... The clock's Mark alarm! Tai Chi. Shit, no. Oh, damn it, you're right. Yeah. Because he would have been the only one. Because he had an internal clock, so he'd be like, Okay, 7 a.m., let's let's go. I don't even have to look at the other clock. I gotta stop, like, I know jumping the gun. Like, every five seconds, I gotta stop jumping in the fucking Well, gun. it sounded right, you know. <laughs> I, get, I get what you mean, though. Like, I, I would have done it, too. We were required to go to Great Tower every uh, and then nobody else would have gotten up yet. So that, yeah, okay, I get you. 
but if they mess with the I was misunderstanding. I was like, they could have, because they could have had the alibi just by assuming it was somebody in Strawberry House who used the alarm as an alibi. If it was actually 5.30 a.m., they wouldn't have needed to clo like turn the clocks back. But they did that because they didn't want anybody to realize Nekomaru was dead already. And when I witnessed Nekomaru early in the morning... If I recall, you witnessed Nekomaru around 5 a.m. And if that time was also two hours off, it should have been 7 a.m. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, he was time, getting all ready to go to Tai Chi. Tai Chi, right on schedule. I see. Now that I think about it, I realize what Monokuma meant when he said those words. <laughs> Too early. He didn't even have me yet. <laughs> Yeah. Jeez, how outrageous! Ages, ages! <laughs> I honestly didn't expect any everyone to ditch Monokuma Tai Chi, Chi, Chi. But it turned out like this after all, so I guess it can't be helped. Help, help. When you said everyone, you were including us, right? We thought we came to the tower on time, but in truth, it was way past the meeting time. should I put it? Um, what was it? You know, tripping over a foot, or something like that. Are you talking about tripping over someone else's fault? I don't oh, think I've ever heard that phrase. <laughs> I would love if that was Monica's response. I've never heard that one! <laughs> That's really weird! <laughs> Okay, all right, back to the trial now, guys. Let's just ignore the peanut gallery. Thank you. Now that we <laughs> found know. out how the killer lured Nekomaru, the number of suspects has drastically decreased. <laughs> uh -huh. You got a really cute I line read. Decrease the number of suspects. Don't be a friggin' liar. Mirror, uh, Monokuma. I guess it can't be helped. Helped, helped. <laughs> oh, I guess it can't be oh, helped. Dear. Helped, helped. Hundred. <laughs> Why are you repeating yourself, Monokuma? Th th that's how everyone else is speaking in flashbacks, right? <laughs> you're you're doing a flashback. Uh, Hi, Grunson. I have never noticed the heart behind Monomi, and I'll have to look at it and make sure it looks like a nutsack. Mm. You'll know I'm not lying when you listen to what you hear. Would be funny if it was like a really graphic, like <laughs> like oh, I've never noticed <laughs> it before. And then you look at the next scene, and it's clearly someone's like nutsack. Yeah, like, like photorealistic, like, like... <laughs> photorealistic. Oh no! Oh, I know what you're talking about now because like I'm seeing the hearts on the wall behind Nagido, and that yeah, that looks a lot like a nutsack. You witness Nekomaru going towards and big old ball. Something else happened after that. Are you talking about that alarm? Hmm. Alarm? A little yeah, no one else knows about it but us. The clock in the strawberry house lounge started going off. Plus, it was just before that trembling sound occurred. That's it. So that's what it is. If Nekomaru died when the rumble happened, then whoever doesn't have an alibi at the time is the And that's suspect. Nagito, which is sad, really? but... Was there anyone who didn't have an alibi Oh, the and time? that's why Nagito and Sonya didn't hear it. Aren't the nice rooms soundproof? Yes. Oh, okay. The sound was so loud I couldn't help bolting from my room. But there was one guy who never left the lounge. We were both on the same floor. It's pretty weird that bastard never came out of his guest room. Which means that person <laughs> I'm, I'm really glad you're like a step ahead on this one. <laughs> I, I feel weirdly like even though this feels like the one that would confuse me the most, I feel like I've got a grasp on everything. Really? Nagido. We're not voting yet. <laughs> it's you, bastard! It's you, right, Nagito? That's right. Nagito but the fact that there. the alarm went off at all raises alarms, which makes me think it's one of these three. You didn't come out. And Gundam's the one I want most to not be hit. You weren't in your room, were you? That's the case. Where were you? 
I was watching Game Grumps Power Hours, and one of the Power Hours, um, Dan was wearing a shirt that had, like, Gundam and Sonya on it together, and I was like, oh, even he ships it. That's pretty good. I really want to watch their stuff, but I don't want to, I don't want to spoil I want to, like, finish the game before I watch their, their stuff. Even if I wanted to go to the lounge, I could You couldn't? What do you mean? Merely the foolish talk. Amir says, didn't Gundam also have a nice room or was that someone else? I don't think he had a bad room. There was like two regular rooms, one shitty room, and one really nice room. Yeah. Nagido got the really nice room because he has such good luck. Um, because they like pulled straws or something. Or played for it. Oh yeah. Not only did I not hear the alarm, I never even heard that rumbling sound. He couldn't. You're definitely fucking lying. Because uh, Sonya says she didn't need it. So for me. It is for obvious me. that I did not hear the alarm in Strawberry House. But I did not hear the rumbling sound either. Is that not strange? I mean, everyone else heard it. To be honest, it's not just them. The same goes for me too. Huh? Or maybe there were I two nice rooms. Oh, Mirror, is that what you were saying? Did Gundam have a really nice room? He shouldn't have come out mm. if he did. It wasn't that. Oh, I shit, you're right. Yeah, so that means he... Oh, no! You still don't know. Think about what the three of us <laughs> didn't hear a sound have in common. And I'm sure you'll figure it out. The only person who didn't hear the rumbling noise were Nagito, Sonya, and Chianki. The secret is, what do the three have in common? Could it's this also be the secret that points to the killer? Who, like, if Gundam had all the foresight to... Soundproof. Do you think? <laughs> oh, wait, no, um... shit, there's an X in this. Wait, S-O-U-N, oh, shit, um... Luxury. Fuck uh, you. Uh, what did they call it? I, I don't know. I thought that was the oh, answer. No. Son of a bitch. There's not even room. <laughs> they all have light colored hair. What do they all have in common? Fuck. Um. The. Um. Oh, what did they call that room? D, okay. Okay, D. um, the nice room. <laughs> <laughs> the nice room. Deluxe. Ah, okay, yeah, you're right. Deluxe suite. Okay, I'm glad you figured that out. That would take me ages. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, he has all this foresight to like mess with the clocks and then mess with Nakamura, like put him in sleep mode and then you know, use the building, but he didn't think like, oh, I shouldn't come out of my room because I wouldn't have heard the alarm because I have a soundproof room. Like, whatever. No, yeah, deluxe rooms. Okay, that makes more sense. Beep boop. Yeah, oh, e ooh, ah. <laughs> Get it. Get it. Fuck you. Oh yeah. I did it. I thought about the spelling in my mind. <laughs> I spelled it out. G. <laughs> e. <laughs> you, you hear him like everyone's like, what the fuck's going on? Like he's. What is he doing? L. Oh, like like, <laughs> like any time like like I like the two letters collided like screams. <laughs> like, ah, my neurons have exploded together. <laughs> my brain cells lowering every minute. <laughs> Oh god, each one is a brain cell you kill off. <laughs> you like, you like, he's like, think, think, and like, it goes into his head like Jimmy Neutron. Yeah, brain blast, and he plays a little game. <laughs> now you know Sonya and Chiaki. Oh, right, I don't want to read these. Oh, yeah. The guest rooms are divided up by a quality grade. The deluxe room is soundproof and has excellent air insulation. Shum, shum. The standard <laughs> room may have so-so insulation, but it's still pretty decent. Isn't, isn't. And the crummy room has severe airflow. Severe 
And draft <laughs> problems! Problems, problems. <laughs> We're getting a little lazier with yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I, I didn't, I was like, oh man, investigation part two, oh, I don't have to do a lot of line reads today. <laughs> and then the little bit that you do. I was like, oh, it's my hardest <laughs> character. <laughs> Monokuma. Excuse <laughs> me. It was because the deluxe rooms have superior sound insulation. I actually noticed that. Nice catch, Hajime. Are you using the ultimate reserve course student talent? What a guy. I love that face. I'm like, what the fuck is your problem? <laughs> god damn it, this guy he keeps hurting my feelings. She, he's like, he's looking at him like, oh my god, I can't, I can't fucking believe you. <laughs> You're, are you still sore about the breakup? <laughs> you guys must understand by now, right? The true identity of Nekomaru's killer. Hold on a sec. Why does that lead to who the killer is? <laughs> Mirror says every time Hajime yells, I see! He's actually yelling, Brain Blast! With a sensor to avoid copyright. <laughs> I want to hear Johnny on the Bosch scream, Brain Blast. Oh, me too. But like, it is Ichigo, like, Bankai style scream. <laughs> Bright black! <laughs> yeah. Somehow I feel like I understand what Naga Nagato. <laughs> Nagato! I'm sorry I laughed so hard. <laughs> Why are you sorry? I fucked it up. It's fine. I know, I shouldn't have laughed in your time of need. <laughs> oh, what Nagito means. The killer among us. Oh, wait! No! <laughs> Wait, everyone! <laughs> I hear I hear him coming down the trail, folks. I hear him coming down coming the trail. Coming down the oh. rabbit trail. That's, Old uh, Peter Cottontail. Oh it's not oh, Peter Cottontail, oh, wait, it's Velvet! You know what the worst part is? I like I, I forgot I was highlighted on the puppets. <laughs> and, like, it moved everything together. Oh, no. <laughs> Oops. There it is. All right, uh, let, me, let me try that again. What? Oh. <laughs> Why does he look like that? <laughs> What'd you do to him? What? <laughs> he had like an orc. Oh uh, well, him. no, because I, I I highlighted the group and not like. Oh, <laughs> so you highlighted all the stuff. I get it. I get it. Because I see I see everything. Um, oh god, that's fan art somewhere. Says mirror. <laughs> hey, yay, Velvet. Okay, Velvet, go away. All right. <laughs> he returned. <laughs> he's, he's returning to he's hell. <laughs> he's returning from hell. Yeah, from returning whence to hell. he came. Bye, Velvet. Thanks for coming out to see us. I actually Ugh. thought about Velvet today while I was at work, and I was like, gosh, I sure hope Velvet doesn't come out today during <laughs> during stream, but there he was. <laughs> Love him. Bye. The killer who murdered Nekamaru. And it's very it's clearly... Him. Son of a bitch. Oh, it's all oh, you, you like, sick bitch. Like, to do this, you would have to remember that Gundam had the nice room. Why would... Gundam? We ever remember that? Well, maybe you're not playing this game months at a time. True, I guess, but that just seems like something that, like, if I was easily mixed up with people, I would get mixed up. You rushed over there too, right? Face looks so silly. What's wrong with this? Is sad. I know. Me too, Shwankman. Whatever that thing is. Rings throughout the night. It is the universe's providence to stop it. Oh. Why you able to hear it? Hear what? I mean, you were also staying in a deluxe room, right? Nagito was staying in a deluxe room in the same house. Why didn't you just play it off pool. like, yeah, I heard, you heard it, silly? Oh. So why were you able to hear that alarm? I wish, in St. Oval, I wish it was as simple as I was in Sonya's room. <laughs> I wish it was like that. There is only one possibility. You weren't in your room at the time. That's why. Even though you that would be such a cute, door, like, way to find out that they were the fucking. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! This is the worst thing they could have possibly done to us. Is make her lose faith in him at the last. I hate you, Dog and Rompa. You and your killing of ships. Me. Gundam. Mirror archives this one for Gundam. <laughs> I, um, have to go to the bathroom. That, that, why didn't he just say that? I was in the toilet, I heard the rumbling sound, and then I heard the alarm. After you there he goes, the alarm, like, he's acting the tower, so sus. You stayed at the lounge for a while, am I correct? 
Until the moment that alarm You work so right? hard and you let this trip you up? Silly bitch. If you were in the lounge for that long, ah, the killer who had left earlier obviously wouldn't be able to go back. Even though Mekamaru's murder was a death trap that utilized the alarm in his chest, the killer still needed to prepare the murder in advance. But putting Nekamaru in sleep <coughs> and tying him up with the alarm. Mm. In order to do that, the killer needed to be waiting for Nekamaru at the tower. Which means when Fuyuhiko witnessed Nekamaru, the killer was already at the tower. And once they tried to go back, they couldn't because Fuyuhiko was at the lounge. In their original plan, the killer should have returned to their room before the alarm in the lounge went off. And they were supposed to stay in their room. They weren't planning to come out and go to the lounge. Which means they wouldn't have heard the alarm or the rumbling sound, thus proving they were in the room, just like us. The best case scenario would have been if those two in the lounge had <coughs> checked the deluxe rooms. After all, if they personally saw the killer sleeping in their room, it gives the killer a stronger alibi. Unfortunately, they failed to secure that alibi. Oof. Oof. I think, is that a line read? Yes, that's for you. Oh, God. Gundam. I had to pee, Hajime. My bladder is the size of my hamsters. It's a medical condition. The power of my piss elevates me above the toilet seat with its velocity. Veracity. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That would be insane. That'd be some insane pee. That's right. It, like, it like, lev it's like, like, well, it's like uh, Super Mario Sunshine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so the killer couldn't go back to their room and ended up hearing the lounge's alarm. <coughs> hey, what are you doing? Ewing, ewing. This right this raucous. It's raucous, loud I raucous. Know. It's louder ruckus? than the ruckus. Wait, that's not how you spell raucous. 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 I've never mind, I don't know. It's loud and the supreme ruler of the netherworld bellowing for a sacrifice. You should have just snuck by and hope they didn't see him. Don't go making all that noise so suddenly, unly, unly. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Don't go breaking my heart. <laughs> I couldn't if I tried. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sucks. I kind of wish Gundam would just get away with it and That's why he couldn't just go off with him. Sonya into the if wastelands together. Just checked the deluxe rooms as planned. That would have been ideal, but how ironic! The moment Fuyuhiko set foot in the lounge, your plan was doomed. <sighs> Gundam, please, can you at least say something? I want to make her dress in Animal Crossing. Answer me this. Including myself in my four dark devas of destruction. How many ears do you One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten ears. The answer is ten. That's yes. Right. I possess ten ears. That means I have five times the He's like, I can't be the killer because I have four uh, alibis. <laughs> All my hamsters can vouch for little, me. Little did you know. <laughs> <laughs> that my that one of my many abilities is to sync up with Beast Bond on one of the hamsters. <laughs> the D and D skill of Beast Bond. <laughs> is that your argument? You bastard. Do you understand <laughs> the situation you're in right now? D do not panic. Oh, that's a new face. Shall now commence. Oh no, he's Let's starting to lose it. By coincidence, I heard the other. He actually did say the bathroom. That's thing. right. That's all it was. The world is always so simple. Are you saying it was just a coincidence? Isn't that timing a little too perfect? And yet, I'm being suspected. I don't control when I pee. It seems it was actually horrible timing on my part. I see. You're still holding out. Well, you don't have to admit it. We're going to decide who the killer is with the majority vote anyway. So, mm. 
why don't we just go ahead and start voting? It's obvious that Gundam is the killer. I agree with you, Nagido. For once, yeah. Although you seem a little suspicious when you say stuff like that. Oh, he's about to dunk on us again. It's merely the opening act, you know. Hey! What do you mean the class trial is just the opening act? Perhaps I should say it's just a farce. Just a boring farce. So boring, so stressful. I'm so painfully bored that I might develop stomach ulcers. <laughs> Seriously. Wow. Let's just hurry up and finish this before I collapse from poor health. Nagito, something definitely happened to you, didn't it? At some point during the investigation, your behavior became even weirder. What? What actually happened? Did you discover something? Well, let's just leave that fun for later. And finish this opening act already. Ah, you said opening act again! Mm. <laughs> Please hold on! We have yet to hear Gunnar's rebuttal! Oh. But he's completely shut up. Perhaps he can't argue anymore. <laughs> God, this is so sad. I was simply at a loss for words after being dumbfounded by your pathetic assumption. In fact, I shall deny the very basis. Your assumption oh. has been wrong since the beginning. Uh, it'll truly break me if he like stops Based talking like that. <laughs> I hung Nekomaru from the fourth floor of the tower and made the floor descend to the first floor. From there, after returning to Strawberry House, I was present when the alarm at the lounge went off, correct? Although going to and fro is busy enough as it is, how would I be able to travel to the uh, final dead room? Yeah, anyway? final dead room. I, see. The I think the uh, evidence is Nagito's sudden appearance. As yeah. I recall, the killer tampered with the great control left. panel, which shut down the elevator. Plus... The stopped elevator should have been facing the grape house side. If so, the human who used the elevator would have left it at grape house. For these reasons, it's an indisputable fact that the killer destroyed the elevator at grape house. And what's wrong with that? If the elevator was broken at grape house, he wouldn't be able to return to strawberry house. It's almost like he knew. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> I would love it if like one of these characters was the ultimate was the ultimate detective like in the last game where it's just like yeah yeah <laughs> yeah it's us <laughs> you and me that's right <laughs> we're, we're both dressed up as Kirigiri awesome <laughs> we would look so fly <laughs> The hamsters are like, yay, we're getting away with murder! <laughs> that's wrong. When something is obviously wrong, that's when a contradiction is born. There is no such thing. Yeah. <laughs> he, I like that he pointed without saying it out loud. There's no such thing as a contradiction that can't be overcome. Just pointing at him. Gunner's like, you're freaking me out. Good night, button. Fihi goes account. Contact elevator. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Shit. Alright. Maybe it's one of those we have to absorb a statement. That elevator was. Wait. The only means of travel between the two houses. Well, but we'll it see. isn't. It's not. As long as that elevator was broken, your assumption collapses. Alright. Plus, the elevator <sighs> was broken at Grape House. Yes, it was. Can't deny that. If the killer cannot yeah. return to Strawberry House. Mm -hmm. Since I was at Strawberry House at that time, there's no question mm. that the following crime is impossible. It would have been different if they had an accomplice. Nope. No accomplice. Was a secret passageway. And Ooh, absorbing. Secret passageway. How much longer do you... Why don't we stop this? <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> just, the, just the idea that it, like that's the noise it makes. <laughs> I wish it did, because that's how it feels. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> it no, it's not! No, <laughs> well, no you're wrong! You're a dumb idiot, stupid poo poo brain! <laughs> you poo poo! No, 
the only way between the two paths was was there, there was only one way between, and that was the elevator. No! <laughs> He's like shaking violently. No, you're wrong. His face is all red, like a vein is popping in his forehead. <laughs> Such a method does not exist. Then why don't we ask the person who actually used that method? Oh, you've got a line read. Hajime slipping yeah. words. Finally, some good fucking food. <laughs> I'm so hungry, all I can eat are your words. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're trying to say something and someone like like inhales it. <laughs> like Kirby style, like right in front of your face. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> You're trying to say a word and like it loosens into a spaghetti noodle. Oh no. Ooh, that's what I have in the fridge right now. I'll eat that probably yeah. after this. Nagito, you should know. Huh. Jerk, what if this was the time he chooses to lie? <laughs> yeah. no, Nagito, what are you doing here? Here, here. Because I showed up, up, up. Saint Abel says snorting alphabet soup. Oh yeah, that hits the spot. Mm. Gundam, I'll make you eat those words! <laughs> she may bold of you to assume I don't eat do that every try. I was hoping that it was going to be, I'll make you eat those words. And Hanjime goes, Mmm, <laughs> 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 good soup. <laughs> like, you hear, like, the words. How the hell? <laughs> I always knew you were more powerful than you let on, Hanjime. Uh, uh, ultra oh, high school. Ultra, ultra high school uh, fucking uh, weirdo. <laughs> good one. <laughs> ultra high school leveled uh, third wall breaker. Yeah. Oh, that'd be awesome. That, that'd be like if there was a Deadpool kind of character. Who's <laughs> that? Jeez. Once again, I let the reserve course show up. But you're right. There's a door on the I'm gonna kiss those office. words right out of your mouth, Nagito. Strawberry house. After Ugh. I opened the door and went down. Surprise, surprise! I Excuse ended me. up in the Monokuma archive. Which is on the third floor of Grape House. Oh. Meaning the third floor and the fourth floor are actually connected. Plus, once you've cleared the final dead room once, you can pass through it as many times as you want. If they use that secret passage, they could have gone between the two houses as much as they want. Infinity <laughs> flame! Oh, his little scarf moves when he talks. Wow. And Tinoval says we murder Nagido by making him breathless in our kissing marathon. Uh. <laughs> we don't let up. <laughs> it's our mutant power. Oh my god. What an amazing mutant power. Putting these away now so I can have spaghetti and not ruin my dinner, which I already did. I had M&M's earlier. Why stop there, gang? Why don't you just put the M&M's in the spaghetti? You know, do you remember that scene in Elf where he's like putting all that candy and stuff in the spaghetti and the maple syrup? Yeah. That looks so good to me. Like, yeah. my mom and sister are like, oh, man, oh bleh, that looks so awful. And apparently Will Ferrell like almost threw up from like shoving all that garbage in his mouth because it was like such bad flavor combo. But it looks so good. Yeah. Like, I want to eat. I want to stuff spaghetti and sugar in my mouth. You say don't make me angry. You wouldn't he like looks so mad. Okay. Oh, okay, Hulk. All right. Didn't this whole playthrough start with a gag that Hajime just wanted to study like a normal student? Yeah. <laughs> this character development is breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh Even shit. If the turbid box doesn't exist, you could travel through multiple planes. Provided you use a spacious wormhole. Oh. However, how Man, his words are really hard to cut through. I can't eat them when they're all spread out like this. Dude, I don't think this is gonna work out. <laughs> this argument is exhausting. Just listening to it makes me tired. I need to skillfully cut back against this word so he doesn't outpace me. Even if the turbid box doesn't exist, you could travel through multiple planes. What the fuck? That's hard. However, how frail, frail I say. Your decayed illusions. Jesus. Shall I feed you to the progeny of vile deities? Oh come on, dude. It's not like I can like. Even if the turbid box doesn't exist, 
You could travel through multiple planes, provided you use a spacious wormhole. However, how frail, frail, I say! Maybe you have to wait until there's at least two on screen at a time and try to time it? Nope, I got it. Okay. Advance! Insane Oddball, uh, Sonya says, I personally enjoy it when Gundam gets angry. Such a feisty baby girl. <laughs> I believe it. You cur! Shit. Damn it. Oh, come on. He probably means trying to provide the evidence that the killer went to the octagon, right? In that case, I should have it too. Key which dwells in the light that will break through the darkness. Oh, do we have to be using the certain sword? There it is. The wire. Okay. The wire used to string up Nekomaru's body. The hammer that looked like the weapon. Oh, that's where they got all that shit. Ah, yeah, because they did say something when they saw the hammer. Like, I didn't see where this could have possibly come from. Yeah. The only place I can think of is the octagon. There were various weapons and tools there. I'm pretty sure I saw stuff like wires, hammers, and chains, too. Since those items were used in the crime... No Aw, Hiyoko's picture is so cute. I miss her. <laughs> <laughs> if that's the case, they obviously know about the secret passage too, right? This is the end. Normally, we'd end up listening to Hajime lecture us with a very long summary of the. Are they not gonna make us do the the putting together the comic? So I'm going to end this right now. Oh, Nagito, thank you. you. First of all. By messing with all the clocks in the building, I think it's because there's so many steps. The Maybe. The they might still make us do it. Thanks to that, Nekomaru wasn't able to go to Great It's Town. nice to get a vacation, though. Thanks. To the meet -up point. So he tried going over to Strawberry Tower, just like we did when we found out the elevator was broken. Well, it's obvious he'd attempt that. At that time, we didn't know the two towers were the exact same place. Also, the button in Strawberry Hall wasn't broken, so he was easily <coughs> able to enter Strawberry Tower. But surprise! Gundam was waiting for Nekomaru's arrival! Hold on. If Nekomaru didn't go to Strawberry Tower, what would the killer have done then? Their plan was a balancing act of uncertainties. But even if they failed, they probably wouldn't have minded. They can just greet everyone the next morning as if nothing happened. And come up with a different plan. And without such a risky plan, they wouldn't have been able to lure him at all. I'm going to continue <laughs> summarizing the case, okay? <laughs> Through this, Gundam. <laughs> like how like that the game wow. the game like <laughs> makes you like oh, wait hang on what in the, what happened if it didn't work? <sighs> Shut up, man! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna keep talking. You can say whatever you want. <laughs> Hold on! You, you... What did you just say? That... I didn't battle? Hmm? What's That's wrong the part that? that makes you upset? Don't... Mess with me! Oh god... Don't mess with me! I cannot ignore those words! What? Why are you angry all of a sudden? You fools! Do not understand! You don't understand at all! Ha! You make me laugh! After all this time, you still don't understand anything at all! I don't understand anything. What does that mean? Right, I don't understand. It appears I cannot finish just yet. <laughs> right, Mirror? <laughs> I totally know what you mean. However, I cannot finish just yet. I cannot finish! It's okay, man. It's a problem that some people just have. I, you don't have to. <laughs> Tony, I can help you with that, okay? I'm going to destroy your illusory assumptions. Illusory. You still have more? You still have room to argue? Your words. You said I pressed Nekomaru's good night button. However, 
That button was on the back of Nekumaru's neck. To press it, I'd have to get behind him. It's not easy to get the drop. <laughs> Mirror and Insane Oddball are like crazy horny for Gundam right now. <laughs> Just as I thought, truly frail. Succumbing so easily to this simple argument, it was just a mere illusion. <laughs> if you want to set me up as the killer, at least surpass your own human limitations. That's wrong. I mean, your hamsters did it. Is wrong. <laughs> Such a <coughs> wonderful line. Clearly. However, <laughs> well, it's not like I have ten hands. <laughs> I have ten ears. Tips for making someone admit their defeat. First, you must crush them with your own overwhelming power. And as for the other, you must provide a reason that will persuade that human. You have not fulfilled either of those yet. I guess you really don't want to admit it, huh? Then, just as you requested. I will provide an argument that'll leave you no choice but to be persuaded. I like, I totally, it does suck, cause like as the killer, you um, it makes it worse each time, well, I'll, I'll be quiet for this part cause it's No, go for it, go for it. As time goes on and you get closer and closer to everybody, it makes it way worse when that person is the murderer, like four trials in because you should know better. <laughs> <laughs> than to be killing your friends. <laughs> We've been through so much together, and now you want to do this? It sucks. <clears throat> Did he say wither? That makes me want to play paladins. Willow always said that. Wither. It's <laughs> all spooky. I love it. You're not gonna fire! Fuck! I don't remember how this works. You do or don't? I don't. Uh, it doesn't matter because it did get the four dark devas. Oh fuck, I fucked it up. I forgot the The four the Dark Devas four. <laughs> That's cute. Run run, run, run. Diva. Alright, there we go. The four Dark Devas. Yeah. There you go. The <laughs> dark Devas, the! Oh, you're wrong! <laughs> it was the- you wrote the da the Dark Devas 4 or something. It sounded like a band. Yeah. Aww. Mitchell! I know. I know. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Are you seriously saying he used his hamsters to press the button on the back of Nekomaru's We've seen them press buttons before. It impossible for a normal hamster, but it would have been possible for Gundam. In fact, we saw that with our very own eyes, right? Emissary of evil. In accordance with our ancient contract, the time has come to lend me your aid. Pierce through. <laughs> Supernova Silver Fox. Sandy. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> ah, I pressed Trinket the button. says we'll get through this together. <laughs> Truly, this is the skyline lamentation art of the demon mouse. <laughs> Soon the door of destiny shall open. Now that you mention it, after Ibuki was killed in the meeting, yeah, that was the part I was thinking about, is they they had him. Yeah, that was so cute. Now they all have to die, probably, right? Yeah, the little, little the little hamster guillotine. Yeah, because they were, like, in on it. <laughs> the little hamster guillotine. To secretly get one of them behind Megamaru and press the button on the back of his neck. How about it? Gundam. What if Monokuma just eats the hamsters? Like, right in front of him right before he dies. Yeah, like, oh my god. <laughs> Not just myself, but you actually brought up how splendid my subordinates are. Yeah, he just wants to be praised, I, I guess. No recourse but to admit it. Admit it? Did you say... No! You admit it? It appears I've obtained a one-way ticket to hell. He's handling it pretty well. Triple me underfoot and advance. 
victory can only be built oh wow he's like got a surprising amount of dignity about it yeah no kidding I kind of expected him to do a Teru Teru like drop of the act. Travel it as though it were mere trash on the side of the road. Pull the curtain strings of this worthless performance with your own two hands. I feel like deep down he didn't want to win. He wanted everyone to oh. to be able to make it through. Oh, we do have to do this stupid shit. All right. Uh, um. Who set the have... lounge clock? Oh wait, no. The Let's just do the alien ones that we know. magical girl. What do we know? One. Ham suppressed his night night button. Okay, good. Hamster murder. Okay, that one's already done. What is that one? Alarm set. Oh, that's just him like posing because that's what he likes to do. I bet that's like near the end. What did Fuyuhiko? What time? Did... Oh, what time did Fuyuhiko see? Well, it wasn't it two something. <laughs> Let's just keep um, going. Because it, where we, we would know he the have chain. locked the door? Because the chain would have been after he killed Nekomaru. Uh, I'm assuming the killer destroyed what after leaving the tower? Okay, nope. All right. What did he destroy? I don't what remember. was the fake weapon left at the tower? Hammer. Who, who gathered at the lounge? Oh, okay, that's the, um, everybody around the clock one. Uh, <laughs> why did Nekomaru fall? What was the fake weapon left at the tower? Maybe the clock is... The killer destroyed what after leaving. Wire, wrap, wire wrapped around Nekomaru's feet? Oh, okay. I guess that is yeah. a question. What, what's up with the chain on the doorknob? Oh, it's just a false flag. What is the... Yeah, because it made us think not to check the door or something. Who was in the lounge early in the morning? Who set the alarm? I'm going to try this one. I don't think it's... Oh, okay. Oh, there it is. 2.40. All right. Stock two. Stock two. I know hung the loop on the doorknob oh, okay. is over yeah, here. Yeah, that's in the green area. Right, right there. I'm messing with the base of the contact elevator. Did we do that yet? Wait, the door to Strawberry House got destroyed. Oh, okay, there you go. Right, they destroyed the button. And, okay, cool. and then let's see. Did, did, Hell yeah. Let's see. They, they did what to the alarm? No, that one's already there. The chest? Okay. Alarm set for 5.30. It's 5 a.m. right now. Uh, That might have been when Fuyuhiko saw... Yeah, that one. He saw him at five. Yeah. All right. Okay. Ugh. All right. Sucks, bro. Who was in the lounge early in the morning? Okay, that's not it. Um, your mom. Your mom. Your mother was in the lounge <laughs> in the morning. Yo, mama. Your mother. All right. Uh, you have a line read whenever you're weapon. done with this. Do we have the hammer? It's doorknob comes off. I like how emaciated we look in that that picture. I woke up at. Oh, we heard it. Why is Soda like grinning evilly in that picture? <laughs> yes, yes. He's like, yes. The sound of Nakamaru. <laughs> Ooh, the hammer. Yep, the fake weapon off the tower. The hammer. Uh, oh no. And. Who was in the lounge early in the morning? It was Fuyu, you he could go, baby. All right, you said I got one? Yeah. All right. Wait, hang on. Let's first go over the mini tricks oh. the killer prepared before they committed the crime. All right, Hajime. Huh. Looking at Nagido in the eye as he makes as he's making his contact. Now forgive me if now forgive me if I make a summary of the case long. <laughs> Nagido, brat. I'm sorry, brat. There we go. Hajime. <laughs> Pot calling the kettle, honey. <laughs> That's so cute. That's a pot calling the kettle, honey. They destroyed the contact elevator. This okay. separated Nagito and the others in Strawberry House from our group <laughs> of rapists. I would love it if he starts this and Nagito goes, Shut up, shut up, shut up! <laughs> I just did this! <laughs> Hajime will not be denied his explaining. Additionally, in order to secure an alibi, the killer went to the Strawberry House lounge. And set the wall clock's alarm to 5:30 a.m. After finishing their preparations, the 
killer went to Strawberry Tower with the necessary tools in hand. They obtained these tools from the Octagon, which you can enter once you clear the final death. This means Oh my gosh, can I just see him in that pose? Why are you teasing me? That secret being Strawberry House and Grape House are actually the same building. On the morning of the incident. Nekomaru woke up and headed over to Grape Tower for a specific reason. There, Fuyuhiko, who was at the lounge by coincidence, witnessed Nekomaru. According to Fuyuhiko's testimony, that was around 5 a.m., but by that point, the killer had already messed with our perception of time. In actuality, Fuyuhiko witnessed Nekomaru at 7 a.m. That's also the same time Monokuma Tai Chi begins. Nekomaru went to Great Tower to participate in that. However, I didn't realize he walked Tower around like a robot. Yeah. <laughs> was to go to Great Tower. I would love it if this is like this is just like he's exaggerating in detail. <laughs> yeah. So he decided he's a robot. That's how they walk, right? That, that's right, right? That's how he did it. <laughs> Hamster power! With the power of hamsters, they were able to press the With the power of hamsters! They moved the- they were able to grip on to the- to the cap. <laughs> They've got silly little hands, they can do silly little things. I never really trained my hamster to do anything, but gosh, if he didn't rip broccoli out of my hands like it was the last thing on earth. <laughs> He was sweet though. He didn't bite very much, and he wasn't s too scared. He was a good hamster. First, How long do hamsters normally live? Oh. So he'd wake up. About one and a half to two years. Oh. That's how long mine lived. What was its name again? Jerilumen. Jerilumen. Yeah. I never got that name right. Uh, nobody ever did. <laughs> I, was, you know, I mean, is if you read Yotsuba, that's the name of her teddy bear, and that's why I named him that. The killer then destroyed the door button to Strawberry Hall. They did this to keep us from entering Strawberry Tower, and to keep us from discovering the secret of the building structure that they used to kill Nekomaru. This sucks, man. I mean, then this used the secret <laughs> sad boy time. Duralumen. <laughs> that's what I always think of when, it, when in that first case, I was like, oh my god, that's so close to my hamster's name. It's Duralumen. It's spelled Daryl. the same, but with a J instead Daryl. of a D. <laughs> it was because Yotsuba, she's six, and she couldn't say Julieta, which is oh. what she tried to name it, so she called it Duralumen. <laughs> I didn't know that's actually how it went down. In the comic, yeah. yeah, I love the Yotsuba manga. You should read it if you if you like, um, happened, like slice of life and insane. like kid stuff. It's really fun and cute. And body was it's like if you enjoy watching Bluey, you'd enjoy and Yotsuba wire. and vice versa. The killer entered Great Tower to see if their setup was successful. Oak. Oh. And placed a hammer on the floor to look like the weapon, then wrapped a chain around the back door. This was done to make us falsely believe mm -hmm. we couldn't enter the tower from Strawberry Hall. <clears throat> I want there to be 18 With acts. This, the killer finished their <laughs> yeah. to their rooms <laughs> in the secret passage. <laughs> Maybe so he, he then starts to explain like how we went through the trial. <laughs> yeah, and then Nagito said, and everyone's just like, did like fucking drooling, like, please let it end. <laughs> Monoku was like, he's not done explaining yet. I want to die. Just let me die. <laughs> please, enough of this. Hell is much more colorful than this explanation. <laughs> As a result, the killer can uh, return to their room, and with no option It's just they're prolonging the, the horror we're gonna have to have of being left with soda for this long. <laughs> I love that, like, soda and, like, Fuyuhiko look like fucking monster people in, like, Look at that. Yeah, I mean, the art's so good, like, because it's so much more, like, what would you call it? Not descriptive. You know what I mean. Like, Detail. they all look... Yeah, detailed. They all look so, like, hungry and emaciated. I mean, soda looks horrible, but that's because he's hungry and hasn't had a shower in a long time. To avoid a worst case scenario, the killer was forced to appear in front of Fuyuhiko with the others. When the wall clock's alarm rang, 
That was also the same time Nekomaru was waking up. Oh, excuse me. He woke up while he was still hanging upside down, so he couldn't help but sway his body powerfully. I feel like, like, Gundam put a lot of faith into the fact that he would die from that fall because he's a robot. He got hit with a missile. Why would you assume, like, I'm still surprised he even didn't survive the crash. He was hit with a missile. I think it's because it was right at his head. I think if it was his regular he was hit body. hit by a missile. <laughs> yeah, but it hit like his main body. Decapitated him on impact. I so, guess. So it was his head. Oh, it decapitated him. Yeah, if you got... Okay, let me put it this way, gang. If you got punched in the chest versus if you get punched in the head... Right? I guess. I suppose. But also, like, he's a robot. We were never, like, told how... How much robot pain he could endure. Yeah, they really made Soto look like he's, like, grinning <laughs> evilly. <laughs> I mean, I hate to say it like this, but more likely than not... Like his However, brain is probably in that part. Yeah. So it's like it's not like it's not like it's the same durability more likely than not yeah. the, like his main body does. You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess. I guess like I don't know if it were me, I'd have picked someone easier to kill. You could have dropped any of these losers on their head, and they definitely would have died. But it was kind of a gamble with Nekomaru. Did he think that because he was a robot, it like would be morally better? <laughs> I can't think of anyone else but you. He's holding out his hand to accept the kisses. That's right. Look, that hamster knows what's up. He's like, Choo. we we even befriended you. I know. Oh god, we did. We have your underwear. We have your underwear, and you killed somebody. You were like crying. We say that exact line. <laughs> we have your underwear. And we say that to Nagita. How can you be so mean? You gave us your underwear. <laughs> it's not too late to vote for soda, says the Saint Anvil. True that. I wanna kiss you. <laughs> Stop it already. Oh wow, even a Kane. Using weird words to avoid the truth. Damn. Oh, I'll friggin' kill you myself! I cannot believe it. Oh no! I cannot believe you you killed. Nekomaru? Oh no, please don't tell me she won't love him anymore. You don't wish to forgive me, do you feel regret? <laughs> then finish it! Cast your impure votes for Gundam Tanaka! My beloved, deadly foes, let the voting time begin! Man. I feel like I need a hug right now. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. Oof. Jesus. Our logic was kind and our Oh my god, how kind. many phases were there? 18. Jesus. We got a B. Great job. Oh god. This result isn't all that exciting. Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your I know Monokuma likes it better when people cry and struggle. Yeah. Well, his whole gimmick is despair. Oh, well, you got me there. What happened? Oh, no. <laughs> That's funny. Excuse me. Oh, here it is. Oh, no, Kuma man. Oh, man. Oh, damn it, Janet. Yeah. Yeah. God, this sucks. Oh, how am I gonna kill? I don't want to see hamsters die, Mitchell. <laughs> <laughs> just it all, put all in, Monokuma just puts it all in a blender. Oh, <laughs> so bad! Ugh, it'd be bad if I bit my tongue again, so I'll speak slowly. Judging from the results, you guys were correct once again! Getting four in a row without any mistakes is a splendid achievement! That's right, the one who killed the robotic Nekomaru in the amazing funhouse was Gundam Tanaka! I would love it if one trial, like, wouldn't it be so cool if the killer manages to do it without Monokuma seeing, and he doesn't even know, like, if you're right or not? Yeah. That'd be a weird one. Oh, like, 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 the, like the camera, for some reason, was covered up. Yeah, like, they, they did it, like, in a timed way where you wouldn't have been able to, like, find out what happened or something. Like, like Monokuma just doesn't know. That'd be so awesome. I don't know how you'd be able to do it, because he's so, uh, everything's so well surveyed, but that'd be a really cool one.
Yay! I did that bit without binding my tongue! Now, then. now that we've decided who the killer is, let's do the execution already and get this over with. Hold on. It's true the class trial is finished, but that doesn't mean the incident is over. We can't finish yet until we hear it from Gundam. Ugh. No matter what he says, it won't change a thing. Well, I have no right to stop you either, so... Do whatever you like. Why do you want to talk to the one who has lost? The loser merely leaves. It would be, ne un it would be unnecessary for me to say anything. To say something. I'm gonna actually pop this down by one. <laughs> Is what I would say, but for honor's sake, I shall correct one thing. Correct? You guys said I made Nekamaru powerless without fighting him. That, however, is a great mistake. Huh? Fuck. Nekamaru did fight. That is no mistake. And because he fought, he lost and died. D damn it! L lost and died? If he were trying to cling to life, the... If there were, if there, <laughs> if he was just trying to cling to life, there are many ways he could have done so. However, he did not allow that. You. What do you mean? Explain. Fine then. <laughs> then I shall reveal it all. Let's within make history. Within the final dead room, I discovered the secret of the fun house, and I devised a killing plan utilizing that secret. By tampering with all the clocks in the building, I succeeded in luring Nekomaru to the tower. And then... And this is what happened. Nekomaru and I were alone in the tower, standing face to face with one another. Cool shot. I should say I expected as much from Nekomaru. He sensed my subtle killing intent, and instantly understood the situation. And... we had ourselves a stare down. In that situation, if he wanted to run away, he would have been e it would have been easy for him to do so. He could have run away, or even called for help. But he did not turn his back to me. Instead, he chose a fight that risked life and death. That is... A fight that risked life and death? He was serious, too. He gave it all, his all to try to kill me. Huh? Huh? <laughs> if I had died instead, the mystery surrounding the case would have been even more complicated. You would never know why I, the victim, went to the tower by myself. I feel like Nakamura wouldn't have hit it, though. Hmm. Nobody would know if the victim was me. Of the victim, me, was actually the one who planned the whole thing. Could it be? Mekamaru really did that? Mekamaru just stopping on the hamsters, Kronza. Sensing even my subtle killing intent, as expected of you, Nekomaru. The scorching, stinging, tense atmosphere. I've been a team manager for so long, I'd nearly forgotten this. This is great! What a comforting <laughs> atmosphere! Hmm. That's a great one. And what is your reason? Do you intend to resolve this situation by killing me? <laughs> I am the warlock, Gundam Tanaka. Heroes, lords of darkness, and even the gods themselves flee from me. I will not cling to any trivial reason. I'm simply going to kill you because your very existence is an annoyance. <laughs> You'll drench your soul with evil until the bitter end, huh? Splendid! In response to your spirit, I shall kill you with all of my might. I won't go easy on you. Don't even think about holding back. Don't waste your breath on cowardly tactics. Give me everything you got! Nekomaru Nidai, your blood will drench the foundation of my empire! That is... I'm glad they both had fun, yeah. <laughs> I guess. But why? Why did you fight? We are all friends! 
Why couldn't you stop this? Even if both sides agreed, it was still wrong. Hmm. I will not argue. I have no intention of forcing my values upon you. However, I must say this. What's the point of living if you're just waiting until you finally die? There's nothing courageous about that. That is abandonment. A mere feeling of resignation. Wait, are you telling us just to just wait until we starve to death? 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 <laughs> I'd rather have that happen to us, 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 than have our friends kill each other, other, other. <laughs> huh? Do you mean that you'd rather die, die, die? Ever since we were locked inside that building, everyone had been dominated by the feeling of abandonment. However, nothing is born from resignation. That is, a, that is simply a reason to give up. Giving up on life, that's just an insult to life itself. Have you fools heard the term dog eat dog? Cannibalism? No, God. <laughs> In zoology, cannibalism is a commonly observed phenomenon. Many creatures at some point in their lifespan engage in cannibalism. Listen that now. is what it means to live. Hamsters are actually really big cannibals. <laughs> yeah. If you say killing for the sake of living is evil, <laughs> then what would you call giving up on life itself? I shall engulf this world. If a world would consider that justice, then I will fight that world with every last fiber of my being. Giving up on life and choosing death is nothing but a blasphemy towards life. It is a viol you. <laughs> it is a violation of the natural order. It is arrogance of humanity. You uh, are you saying all that? Uh, <laughs> Are you saying all that to try to justify what you did? But, but it sounds like Nakamaru felt the same too. That's why they fought, right? Damn it. Ugh. That man had the courage to die when he needed to die. That is why he challenged me to our battle. <laughs> Regardless, as I've already said, I do not intend to force my values upon you fool. I have betrayed you all. That is the absolute truth. But... Oh, my tears. Even so... <laughs> don't you think it's a better alternative to slowly st starving... Sorry. Don't you think it's a better alternative to slowly starving to death here? Oh. That belief is why you committed your crime. You... Hey, what about the final dead room? Did you do the Russian roulette too? Let's make history. Unlike Nagido, I only did it once, but hmm, <laughs> compared to my battle with Nekomaru, that was mere child's play. Well, you know, after listening to you talk for a while, I'm starting to think that. Well, it's also because you unexpectedly admitted your crime without much resistance. Gundam, no, don't tell me you... You didn't sacrifice yourself for our sake, did you? Why would he hide it if he did? <laughs> I can't believe you would ask such a foolish question. My just... Name is Gundam Tanaka. <laughs> just who do you think I am? I am Gundam Tanaka, history's greatest monster. My cursed existence is feared by all mankind. There's no way that I'd <laughs> sacrifice myself... For the sake of you fools. Not in a million. Not in a billion. Not in 10,000 billion years. In the name of pandemonium, it is impossible. There's one person I can think that you would sacrifice yourself for. <laughs> is that it? Then I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> now then, let us be rid of this foolish talk. It's about time the fun started. He's really... Monokuma, wow. let us begin. God. Yeah! Fuck yeah! Got it! <laughs> I'm prepared.
prepared a special punishment for the ultimate breeder, Gundam Tanaka. <laughs> oh no, I don't know. I don't want to know what it is. Oh no. But please wait. This this is just too much. Please, Monokuma, please help Gundam. Huh? M me Miss Sonia. Please, I beg of you. Sonia. <laughs> An act of unref an act as unrefined as stomp stopping a man from going to his death does not befit a noble such as yourself. That's the most romantic thing I've ever heard. God damn. Um, is it fine to start for reals, right? No. Fine. Yes, I do not mind. However, yes, sir. My four dark devas of destruction. Are you worried about me? Oh, my feared four dark devas of destruction. That is not like you at all. They However, kill Monokuma. <laughs> there is no need to fear. In this world, I am only a temporary visitor. I was simply visiting for a moment. And now that my duty is complete, I must return to the darkness. That is why, until the very end, Pride, conceit, courage, insolence, fearful of nothing, daunted by nothing. Let us laugh uproariously. <laughs> that is Gundam Tanaka. I shall stick with my evil until the very end. Open sesame pandemonium. I shall fill hell with true hell. <laughs> Let's give it everything we've got. It's no. time. I wonder what his Japanese voice sounds like. Yeah. He's uh, like he sounds so cool in the English. Man, oh man, oh man. <laughs> no. This is terrible. Oh no, big stampede, Jumanji style. Yeah. Quick, say Jumanji! Do it. No! Get the hamsters out of here! Oh. Oh. <laughs> so sad! Whoa! What does he have? Oh, okay. He like teleports out of there. <laughs> Oh, whoa, was he actually a demon? Oh, jeez. Oh, brutal. Oh. No, don't give us this. Oh. Oh, no, I think this is actually what he would have hated the most. <laughs> He's going to heaven. Yeah. <laughs> that is what he would have hated the most. Yeah. Oh. Like he's like screaming on the way up. He's like, no, no. <laughs> Take me back to my home. Take me to hell. Shit, this sucks. Oh, I hate having a voice said, Sonia. G Gundam. No, no. Even after Gundam is gone. Out of it. The spirit of his parting words still linger deep in our chests. Don't give up on life. Did I misunderstand what he meant? Then what's the right thing to do? I don't know. No matter how much I think about it, I, I don't think if I'll ever be able to understand. Uh, fuck. I don't think if I'll ever be able to answer that. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I'm so pissed off. I need to throw something. D damn it! You all spent so much time worrying about each other, and thanks to that, things ended up like this. You're all full of shit. Every last one of you. But the biggest piece of shit is me! The worst. Damn it! Why am I so weak? Oh. It's such a downer, clearly. But still. Even though we feel this way, we still gotta do our very best. You are right. You are right. 
This time around, we must move forward. We must continue to live and believe in our friends. If not... You are right. Oh, Sonia. Gundam will most likely crawl his way out of hell, and I presume he will be very cross with us. You're... right. You're right. We shouldn't just stand here. I mean, it's not like this is over. We still have to do it. We still have to finish this. For the sake of our friends who have died, we need to finish this once and for all. So... Don't just stupid Soda there. looks happy over there. <laughs> stand up and walk. Move forward. Live. If you don't, everyone who fought and died will have died in vain. And we can't allow that! So how long are you guys going to stand around chattering? The class trial is over, so it's okay for you to hurry back off to Jabberwock Island. <laughs> However, the killing school trip will proceed as usual, so make sure you all know that. Wait. Uh, hold on. How, how much longer are you going to keep doing this? Seriously, how long is he going to keep doing this? How long is this going to continue? Now then. Now then. <laughs> Alright, after feeling down for so long, I finally feel refreshed. Let's hurry back and eat some food. Wow, okay. Huh, hold on a shick a second. Hold on, hold on a second. <laughs> hold on a shmickety schmeckin'. We got some line reads. <laughs> we have three line reads. Yeah. As everyone is sobering over Gundam's death soda. So are we going to talk about him making an alchemy circle, or...? <laughs> uh, from Insane Oddball, Akane. But the biggest piece of shit was inside Nakamaru! <laughs> <laughs> Mirror Archives, Hajime, looking up. Ah, uh, yes. Hell. Just where I remembered it was. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's not like that. Well, you know, it's like Gundam and Nakamaru said. That's what it means to live, right? Oh. Oh my fucking god! Everybody lost someone important to them. <laughs> She's certainly something else. <laughs> but seriously, I'm starving. Hey, hey. Then let's go back for now and eat. And then, after we're full, let's sleep as much as we want. Right. And then let's do our best again. Yeah, you're right. Son of a bitch. <laughs> With this, the class trial has come to an end, and once again we return to the Jabberwock Island. The size of our group has definitely diminished, but despite that, even if it was just just the rest of us, we did our best to stay upbeat and have fun together. Of course, our optimism was only superficial, but at that moment we were able to forget about the dark despair looming before us. However, the only thing I was worried about was him. He wasn't there. He suddenly disappeared from our sight. <laughs> yep, I'm definitely lucky. I never expected to obtain so many valuable things from a simple game of Russian roulette. Thanks to that, I was able to learn the identity of our true enemy. And before everyone else, too. But it's just too funny. I mean, no one could tell that I was lying. There's no way the file just, just had Hajime's information. I guess they were too busy with other matters. Or maybe they've reached their limit. Regardless, I was saved. Things would get complicated if they found out. <sighs> anyway... I can't forgive this. Damn it. This should never be forgiven. There's no way I could let this run loose. I'll be the only one. I'll be the one who stops this once and for all, even if it costs me my life. It's obvious. For the sake of hope, I cannot ignore this. Monokuma appears. All right, Monokuma has arrived. Who summoned me? 
Now then. Thanks for coming. Why, it's our own lonely little Nakido. Are you all alone tonight, too? What's so what's matter? up? Your face looks scary. I see. So you can tell. Uh, perhaps you found out who the traitor is. You know me well. well. Is what I'd like to say, but unfortunately I haven't learned that yet. I see. So even you don't know, huh? Looks like the final showdown is going to take a little bit more time. Hello. So, why did you summon me anyway? Were you finally going to confess your love? Hey. I summoned you because there's something I really need to ask you. It's about the special prize from the final dead room. Hmm. Oh yeah! What about it? There was information about 16 people in the file I received. But isn't that weird? Say what? What's weird? Well, you don't even know? there's a traitor from the Future Foundation hiding among us, right? Including that uh. person, <laughs> the total number of students would be 16, right? But this Isn't file contains right? documents that were created at Hope Speak Academy, right? That's right! I just reused the stuff from the former headmaster spent a lot of time making! But... If this file contains information about the traitor, was that person also a former student at Hope Speak Academy? <laughs> I wonder. Hey. Could it be. <laughs> Is this your doing? Did you slip false information in the file? Were you trying to keep us from learning the traitor's identity by obtaining this information? Hmm? What's wrong with that? If it's my job to keep things up, it's okay if I do something small like that, right? That's well, not my point. My point what? is, you already know who the traitor is. Hmm. What's wrong with that? Well, you're splendidly correct when you say I knew who the traitor was all along. But even though I know who it is, why do you think I ignored it on purpose? It's just like Mona me after losing her magic stick. The traitor's existence means absolutely nothing to me. Their existence means nothing, huh? Well, no, no. that's just how I feel. I'm sure you guys feel somewhat different. After all... That person is the evil Future Foundation Wacky who's putting up with you guys through this- putting you, you guys through this awful stuff. Mm, that's not entirely true. I didn't really come here to fight or anything like that. Instead, I came here to offer my cooperation, you know? Cooperation? Your purpose is to pull everyone on this island with despair, right? That's why you're intentionally letting the traitor do as they please, right? Yep, yep! If that's the case, I might be able to cooperate somewhat too. However, in exchange, I want to know who the traitor is. Hmm, I see. Interesting, very interesting. Obviously, that's a big no-no! I mean, I want to make everyone in your crew feel despair. That includes you, too. Well, I knew you'd say that. Besides, I wouldn't be a I just wouldn't be able to handle the sadness when you inevitably betrayed me later on. <laughs> just as I thought, you saw right through me. No matter what situation I find myself in, my core way of thinking will never change. In order to create absolute hope that shines brightly, Step ladders such as myself and despair exist. <laughs> You're right. You're a true believer of hope after all. I must say, that belief reminds me of that person for some reason. Reminds you? I don't know what you're talking about. But if someone as worthless as me reminds you of some other person, they must be extremely unlucky. But it's <laughs> Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> but you're just as unlucky, right? I mean, the fact that you're even involved in something like this. Well, Am I? I actually think I'm very lucky. Say what? Huh? Wouldn't you I say that know. coming across this much despair is a rather rare opportunity? I can't rely on anyone on this island. That's why I have to be the one that does it. 
If I can eliminate despair from this island, I won't be a stepladder anymore. I'll become true hope. I'll become an existence that could even be called ultimate hope. <laughs> you two are alike. You definitely remind me of him. Hey, there's one more thing I want to ask you. Hmm? Who are you waiting for on this island? Huh? <laughs> Looks like I'm right again. You're definitely waiting for someone on this island. Is the person you're waiting for already on this island? Well, answer my question. If, if that's the case, if that person is already on this island, <laughs> wouldn't that be exciting? Plot Man, Mitchell, thickens. your acting chops were really tested today. <laughs> you did great. <laughs> On a day I didn't want to do it. <laughs> I know. I feel so bad. No, no, it was fun. It's, I love I love doing that stuff. I love having like a little bit yeah. of... Ooh, five days oh, yeah. left. Oh, shit. Five days left? Wasn't it like 20 last time we saw? Was it? Oh, God. Ooh. Uh, what's Ooh. the next chapter gonna be called? Damn. <laughs> Seven left. Dang. That's crazy. Danganronpa. Danganronpa. <laughs> Lopa. Lopa. <laughs> Yay, we got his Hell earring. earring. <laughs> I would love to save my current progress. Yes, on, please. On the last save file slot. Oh, wow. All right, and with that, gang. With that, we'll check our pet. Yes, we will. And let's then, gosh, let's do a, let's do our post stream. Yeah, I don't know what to talk about. I, how sad and despairing yeah, yeah, I am not, right yeah, now. Yeah, let's 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 uh, let's go. Let me open let's up. have a little group therapy session, guys. How are we gonna cope with the loss of our our little goth boy? Oh, Our yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I, uh, I, I don't know. It's so weird. On, on one hand, I really enjoyed the, the investigation as a whole. Like oh. I, I, I enjoyed the, the, the meaning behind it and like the, Oh, we didn't use our new thing. Oh, that's right. That. Yeah. We'll, oh. we'll have to set it up for Sorry, next Amanda. time. Yeah. Uh, oh, God, I have to set up the next, cause for Thursday we're doing my immortal. Yeah. Um, oh, so I guess I'll just keep mine like this. This yeah. is fun. <laughs> um, but uh, no, all I was gonna say was was just like I think that like it's interesting because ultimately I feel like ultimate. Ultimately, uh, well, ultimately <laughs> I feel like on a piece of paper, the, the 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 trial itself, like the 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 people who did it, like like Gundam's reasoning is really good. The yeah. funhouse as a gimmick is a little a little much, but outside of that, I did enjoy. <laughs> Like I like the fact that Nakamura didn't die like unknown to him. Like he didn't wasn't just tricked. And yeah, because that's what it felt like at first. But I'm glad like he got the chance to put up a fight and everything. Right, and even and if he did end up killing, which oh my god, that would have been so much crazier if Gundam yeah. if Gundam did get killed. I think what it what it would have been interesting was is like I can imagine him having like a, kind of like a similar reason. Like, you know, he challenged me to a fight. I wanted to honor his passion. Yeah. Yeah, and you know. I can't imagine Nekamaru, like, lying about it. I guess he would because his whole reasoning is, like, y you got to try. Like, you got to live and you got to try. I It's just, like, there's something so funny about how you can almost never spin this to make the other person look like they were doing something good. Like, sure, okay, Gundam had that whole thing about, like, fighting and, and choosing to live, and they kind of hinted towards the fact that he, like, did it for us a little bit, like, yeah. so that we could move on and we could eat, um, and so that we wouldn't be, like, dying for the sake of just not killing our friends, which I don't I don't agree with Gundam, but, like, I get it. Um, I'd have rather starve than kill my friends, I guess. That's just me, though. Um, right. <clears throat> but, like, they always kind of try to spin it to make it look like he's the good guy. But he covered up the murder. Like, he was trying to get through the trial without being found out, which just shows me that he didn't do it for us. 
because he would have been the only one who would have lived if that were the point like and that that's kind of like upsetting to me a little bit because you know i love like the gundam sonya thing and but if he, he did this knowing full well like if he wins sonya would die along with everyone else like so it doesn't feel like he tried to save us because if he tried to save us he wouldn't have gone through so much um work to make it look like he didn't do it right <laughs> you know what i mean like I, so there, there's was he like just a, being a dick I, a part of me would say there's a part of me that says yes <laughs> and there's another part of me that says would mono kuma accept such a thing right like if like mono kuma well, what's wants he gonna to do it's not against the rules to like be bad at covering up your murder I mean, I think like, that like Gundam could have made it more obvious or something. I don't know. Like you couldn't tell me that he like he like really tried and 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 like to make it look like like he was trying really hard. But like I don't because there's no like Monokuma operates under and this is a visual novel, so I understand like for plot's sake, everyone tries really hard and and every trial is really hard because there'd be no game otherwise. But if this was happening for real, like. How many people do you think would just give up mid trial? Like, what would Monokuma be able to do about that? Like, it, with all the despair, everyone would just. I, I think a part of that give also up. is the reason. Like, so I think the reason why Monokuma just doesn't put a bunch of randos together is probably because, of, like, it's the ultimate, right? Like, that's that's like yeah. the gimmick. Um, I do feel like <clears throat> I could totally see it either way. I could. I don't. I don't think that. I think it might. I don't think it's like black and white. I think it might be like a this is the this is kind of like a both sides kind of thing where it's like on one hand you could see you know if i feel like you could kind of see that like oh well he did it for us but also you're right he did still cover it up and i maybe it's maybe it's not as black and white as oh he did it for us or no he was still trying to do it maybe it's both maybe on one hand he was trying to you know get away with it but at the same time when he once he got caught he was like you know what you're right <laughs> like you know you, like, yeah and so like at least he he ended it with dignity mirror and schwenkman are right like i get what you guys are saying i guess like i just believe so strongly the other way of like protecting your maybe it's the hufflepuff in me but i'm just so like man i i would do anything in my power like if if i were to go the route of like killing someone it would i would fuck it up enough that it would be obvious it was me and then when everyone finds out it was me because it was so obvious it's like okay you guys you know you're free or whatever because of that yeah i mean even though that's not how it works i guess like i like i would have starved i wouldn't have killed someone at least that's i mean i guess i've never like been in a situation like that before i don't know what i'd do but i'd like to think that i would just curl up and go to sleep <laughs> and not deal with that I, shit and i and i think I don't that like kill anyone especially like if they're your friends schweckman's obvi uh is, is i think is absolutely right gundam's values required him to try to get away with it he also doesn't tr even attempt to defend himself during the trial until sonia begs him to god that is so sad that's just like the most tragic thing that's ever happened like titanic bullshit garbage <laughs> this is the most romantic thing ever it's just so sad I wonder where the hamsters are now like maybe sonia's taking care of them that would be cute <laughs> that'd be adorable like i hope we get to see like like maybe we go to her room or something like during free time and she's just got like the hamsters hanging out in there that'd be so cute God. That that being said, I can't wait until Sonia eventually just like punches uh punches Soda in the face. Soda. Yeah. <laughs> She's getting really tired of him. I noticed during this trial she was like lacing into him a little bit. It was funny. <laughs> yeah. That uh that being said, guys, thank you all for um for coming mm -hmm. to check out another stream. Um we will be doing uh we will hopefully finish hopefully finish my immortal. Yeah, Thursday. I don't remember what chapter we ended on. Actually, I will. I don't remember what happened last. It's been a I'll while. Go through my history. It's been a while. Um, yeah, please join us for my immortal guys because it it'll be. Yeah, hopefully the last one, but it, it should be fun. We just we love doing stupid shit. <laughs> yeah, that is true. I the, the the honestly between this and my immortal, I'm like you know these are some of the most fun things we've done on the show in a while, and I'm like oh. So fun, yeah. I'll be sad when both are over. Um. It's one of those like it's not it's a nice like palate cleanse. Well, not really because my mortal sucks, but it's like a palate cleanser <laughs> in between uh, chapters. But you know what I mean.
Yeah, my I, world's so bad. It's so fun though, dude. I there's so many like there's so many things I like to do like uh, when it comes to like I I will always love these like weird ideas we have where it's like let's read a fan fiction. <laughs> like I yeah. I think like that's like some of the more fun stuff. But anyways, guys, we'll catch you on Thursday seven o'clock. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, God rest your soul. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. I was like, why? Whoa, what happened to the people on YouTube? Are they okay? Oh, oh, shit. We didn't even, we didn't do. Oh, but by the way, we have a yeah. hundred followers now. Yeah, we're, we're doing it. We have a hundred followers now. It. Thank you, everybody. And You're we, so wonderful. You guys are keeping the, the viewership averages up. And I wanted to just say that real quick. Like, you guys are fucking great. And, uh, and so, you oh. know, I, I can't wait to continue to do more fun, dumb stuff with y'all. Um, yeah. yeah. Should we do anything for the hundred followers? We never really talked about that. Um, technically, oh god, on a technical level, I think we said that, like, oh, we'll finish my immortal. That was like the. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, well, we did it just in time. <laughs> I. Yeah. So, um, that being said, yeah. So, thank you all so much for your continued support. We'll come up with something. We'll we'll have to come up with something that would be like super fun. I think that like one of the big problems right now is just like. Uh, the schedules are going to start changing, like in in the next couple months. So we'll we'll see how things turn out. Obviously, we we're gonna keep playing the way that we're gonna play it. But uh, if things change, we'll let you guys know too. Yeah, Pokemon comes out, so we're probably gonna be ignoring you guys a lot, so we can play. <laughs> yeah, honestly, if you're not on the Discord, I I've already started setting up like roles and like Scarlet trainers, Violet trainers. I'm like, all right, guys, we need a trade. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. I can't wait. None of my, almost almost none of my favorite Pokemon are in the game. So I'm a little upset about that. <laughs> Luxray's in it, so that's fine, but everybody else <laughs> my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Life is bad. Love yeah. it. Hey. It's okay. I'm still excited for the game, but it's a little sad face. Oh, and dude. I saw all the leaked starter evolutions, so I'm a little sad about that too. Oh. All right, guys. We'll, we'll talk to you more on Thursday. Yeah. See ya. See ya. <laughs> Bye. Love you.